Lately, MPE seems to be a popular topic on YouTube. It may seem like a complex thing and hard to understand, but fear not. In this video, I will explore everything you need to know about MPE. As you're hearing this, you're probably thinking, yeah, but I don't have a Push 3 or a MPE compatible synth, so I'm just, I'm gonna check out. Don't worry. You can still use MPE and we can draw it in just like your regular automation. So what is MPE? MPE stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. This allows you to control multiple instrument parameters simultaneously. So if we have a chord and we have three notes, each one of those notes can have their own automation lane. And within those automation lanes, we have three things we can control. So number one, we've got pitch bend. Two is slide. Three is pressure. All these MPE MIDI messages are captured within Ableton Live so we can edit and change them at a later date. So with the new Ableton Live 11.3 update, they've included a bunch more instruments and audio effects that are MPE compatible. So now the instruments that are compatible with MPE are Wave Table, Simpler, Sampler, Analog, Electric, and Tension. Now there are some MIDI effects as well, such as Arpeggiator and Note Repeat. So let's jump into Ableton, see how we would set up our MPE compatible controller. And if you don't have a controller, how we would utilize the power of MPE by drawing all this lovely MPE data in. So first off, you would have to plug in the controller. This is probably done via USB. Once it's plugged in, go into Ableton Live, click Command, Comma, open up the preferences, go down to Link Tempo MIDI. Then when you see your controller plugged in, simply select the MPE dial. This will enable your MPE controller to control the MPE parameters within Ableton Live. And that's it. As I said before, if you don't have a controller, you can still use it. So if I go to a MIDI clip here, so double click on a MIDI clip to open up the detailed view, go up to the note expression tab here, and this is where all your MPE data is stored. So we go here. Now we have a couple of drop down menus here. So if you don't see any of these down here, you can click on these little dials down here. So we have the first one, which is for slide. Next one, which is for pressure. Then we have velocity and we have release velocity. Now we're not gonna deal with those two today. We're just gonna deal with slide, note pressure. You're thinking, where is it, Craig? <laughs> What's going on? So pitch bend lives within the actual note. So you click on the note and then you have this semitone thing going on here. So we can literally click and make a break point like our automation and then drag the pitch down to where we want it to go. Now remember, it's MPE, which stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression. So notice it's not doing it for the E. Let's listen to this chord sequence before the pitch bend and then we'll apply some of this pitch bend. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so now let's apply some of this pitch bend. So I'm going to go in here, drag this first one down. There we go. Lovely. And then these ones here, what we can do is we can bend them up. So this one, you're going to get more of a drastic pitch bend to these guys. So maybe we can drag the pitch out a little bit so it goes, takes a bit of a longer time. So we get more of the, the pitch bend sound. Drag this one down here, drag this up here. Now this one's gonna be cool as well. We can drag that up there, drag that up there. This one, so we're going back to the E. So the E is this note here. So we can do a big old long down to, yeah, this note here. And then that one's going to the G, go this note. Let's hear how that sounds now. Nice, not sure about the, the long one on the end, maybe make that a bit shorter. It sounded better in my head. <laughs> okay, so let's hear that. Cool, so that sounds really cool. So given a new dimension to our um, notes there and our, it's a really nice thing when you get on the push controller to do that as well in real time. So now let's look at doing these two down here, the slide and pressure. So if I went in here and I, I pick this note and I go in and make an automation line here, maybe if I do something like that, 
I press play, nothing's changed. I have to go into the synthesizer or the VST and I need to map it to something, okay? So this is where you need to have an MPE compatible controller or VST. So I'm using Ableton Live's new Drift Synth, which is fantastic. If you haven't tried this out, download it. Everyone's got it, including intro and light users, which is a fantastic upgrade. So I've just got two sawtooths on, going on here. I've driven it into the filter, type two filter. I've got a little bit of the second envelope modulating the filter, which I'm going to turn off just because I, I want to now use the slide to do that. I'm going to put up to 100%. So now I've now mapped essentially the slide to open up the filter. So if I take that down, you heard that there? So that was, that was essentially, if I go back in here, that was this. Okay, so maybe if I pull that down a little bit, so it's not, maybe if I start a little bit slower as well. And it's just for that one note. So remember with automation, that would be all the notes in the chord. Okay, so I'd play down say 10 notes and it would it would open up the filter for each one. So we've got just that one there doing that. So the G, or oh, sorry, yeah, the G is, is staying kind of closed. So I could do that one differently. Do you hear that? See how it gives it a third dimension to the sound. Then we can go in and we could do some some other stuff here, we could do it to this one here, do a kind of similar thing. Maybe just a little bit slower. Let's try the pressure with the shape here. So that'll scan through the, the shape of the VST. So be like. Okay, let's try that. Whoa, yeah, this is this is really cool. So we can go in and then do that for a couple more of the notes. Let's just do like the, the lower ones. And then maybe like we could also do something where it goes up and down in one of them, like on this one. Let's try that. <laughs> oh dear, that doesn't sound too good, that one. Let's pull that down, there we go. Let's, let's finish it off, come on. Maybe it could go back down off this one, yeah. Here we go, so let's hear our crazy chord sequence. Okay, cool, fantastic. Now, that's obviously with Drift. Now, everyone has that, which is a fantastic new synth and you see it's really it's got all the mpe stuff laid out here it does have a mod matrix here where you can go in a bit more detail you go in here you can see all the destinations and then if you go at the top you can choose the mod source which has all the mpe included now if we were to go and use um, one of the ones that have been now calibrated for this such as analog for example that's an old classic uh, ableton stock vst now if you look here we have an mpe tab so we have the pressure and slide, so you can choose a destination. So for example, here, if we choose to press it to the filter cutoff, and then we put it to 100%, and close the filter here, sorry. 